Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Why am I sharing you with this information about shortages? Um, I'm blessed to have um, people contact me that are in different industries and tell and tell me what there's going on in their business. Um, and I'm only blessed because I'm getting this information because I'm Southern Prepper One, not because I'm Dave. It's because of you. You support my channel. And it gives me the opportunity to get a lot of information. So I'm going to share that information with you. Some people say, oh, it's doom and gloom, Dave. Um, it's not doom and gloom. I'm giving you information. You do with whatever you want with it. Um, but for me to take all these emails and phone calls and just take all this information and not share it with you is not doing you a service. You are responsible for me to get this information. Because if you didn't support this channel, I wouldn't be out there. And I wouldn't get this information. So I feel obligated. Um to my subscribers that have supported me for so long to provide them with this information. Um, and I get a ton of it. And I haven't been giving you all of it because um, I didn't want to bore you. But you know what? If I take three minutes of your time or five minutes of your time and you're bored of it, then so be it. There's a lot of people that like this to put the pieces together and also to motivate you to prep, not motivate you to be scared. I had a few comments on the other video uh, that I'm a hoarder. Just boom. It's so easy. Hit the a race button just get out of here we don't have time for your negativity this is a prepping channel you're going to hear prepping news and some of its bad news but it's not all doom and gloom so let's get going uh, a grocery store i'm not going to tell you what grocery store but i was contacted i actually sort of know this guy I actually served in the military with him um <clears throat> he says it's bad in the sense of they can't get spare parts for their grocery stores it's a huge one in the south he said not to mention the name so i will not do that um parts spare parts for everything things break they can't get parts to get things fixed um they also he also said that they have some sprinklers on top of some of their buildings to keep some of their uh cooling mach cooling machines i don't know if they're cooling for refrigeration for people in the store cooling for refrigeration for the actual meat coolers i don't know i should have verified that but there's coolers that aren't cooling so they're putting sprinklers and running sprinklers on them to keep the machine at a cold enough rate so they can keep working without cutting off so that's amazing they're still short on getting parts for these things uh he also said that they've had products that have had two price increases in one week um also said he can't hire anyone because there's no one to hire and if they do work they'll work for a week find another job for a dollar more an hour and boom they're not worried about retirement they're not worried about long term there's no loyalty um so they just jump for a buck a buck an hour and after you spend money and you train these people so very hard for him to find people that he needs to keep things running he says there's no trade schools putting out people uh he mentioned that there was a guy that didn't even know how to load a grease gun which is not really funny because if he's never had to load a grease gun how is he going to know but that's i think everyone needs to know how to load a grease gun especially if you're a male and you got to take care of vehicles and other things lawnmowers so grocery stores he's also said that they had like getting containers for food uh just trouble and trouble and trouble trying to get things that they need all right Let's switch gears and go over to a very large healthcare organization that has many hospitals. This person is a supervisor in the laboratory. He deals with thousands of products and products are harder and harder for him to get things. Uh, the biggest thing, they had a product they use and they're down to one case and their supplier said, I can't get it, go somewhere else and try to find it. So they got a week. Now, a lot of these things that they're missing are coming up short. Are chemicals, I guess, that used to anal uh, analyze um, your test. Analyze your test. Um, so if you go to the hospital, they do a test. It takes chemicals and different procedures to figure out if you got cancer, you got this, you got that. Um, so these chemicals are critical. If they sh run out, then testing can't be done. And it's a health problem for people. Um, so he's starting to see it bad. Next. Uh, a large weapon manufacturer in the south and they're having problems getting stuff to spare parts machinery all that stuff crazy but they've been hit with a 200 percent price increase in raw steel and some of their polymers and they source this material throughout the north america and europe so they're having problems and if they do get it a 200 percent price increase and he said they're gonna have to 
they're going to have to charge more for their product. It's going to be you know passed down to the consumer. Um, these are just three people that I talk to today. I talk to people every day, and they they tell me, they share with me. Um, I I have to really dissect it because I don't want to give names out to protect these people's jobs. Don't want to jeopardize them at all. So keep prepping, keep preparing. Things are in short. Is there going to be shortages? There is shortages in the United States. That's for sure. Now, some areas aren't feeling it. Um, we're definitely feeling price increases. Every time I go to Walmart, I feel a price increase. Every time I go to a grocery store, I feel a price increase. Um, are we going to actually feel like shortages where there's nothing on the shelf? I don't know. Only time will tell. Uh, I truly believe that certain parts of the world are going to feel huge shortages, especially with the wheat. Um, India said they're going to really restrict selling their wheat internationally, so it's going to be harder for a lot of countries to get wheat. We're going to have definitely instability. It's going to be rapid. That's just the bottom line. So. I'm going to keep sharing with you what I'm getting from people with the actual boots on the ground. So I, I appreciate it. If you got information, send it to me. I will protect your identity. Don't say keep me anonymous because that is a guaranteed thing. Um, I won't mention your company. I won't mention you. I will pick and choose what I can say to make sure I don't give anything away. Thanks for watching.